give it a go. I'm ready to be scared. <laughs> I think. June 16. This happened to me when I was 19. I was only 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Oh, that's very, that's very, it's good timing. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I feel that. Wait, no. No, I fly more than I drive now. Because I think it would end up being about the same. And I can't be fucked driving. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. Ah. Oh. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. <laughs> oh no. It was a little over... It was a little over 12 hour drive. <sighs> Oh, we driving. Can I like pull over and check the text? I, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna text and drive. That's, I'm gonna crash in the game. Uh, so we can actually go back through all the the messages, like, will that give us a bit of a, a hint as to what's going on, or what? Yeah, I thought that sounded familiar, Hammer. <laughs> I'll take, wait a minute. Oh, what is this? I, yeah, I was like, is this is a... <laughs> it's the server restart. Doo -doo -doo. In ten minutes. Oh, I look like Louie. This person's taking their dog for a walk as well. I'm, well, I'm assuming that's a dog. Let me send it. <laughs> Let me send it. Woody. <laughs> Yo, how you doing? I can't write it. Why can't I? Hello? <laughs> That's a shame. Ah, well. That is a shame, but that's all right. I'll live. All right, we're up to date. Let's let's now drive safely. Responsible driving. God damn it! This is making me want to just check it while driving. But it's a very bad practice. We're gonna, we're gonna 
<laughs> We're gonna pull over again. <laughs> I can't even pull off like the side of the road. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Driving, damn it. No bridge, as far as I know yet. Imagine if it's just 12 hours of this. <laughs> ah, father! What if I check it? What if I just check it really quick? What if I just check it really quickly? Well, I just I go slowly. What if I just go really slowly? Like, you shouldn't do this in real life. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling right. Yep, got read it. <laughs> I keep going. Should have said something, internal voice. Ah, uh, no, no backseating, please, Woody. No backseating. I probably should have put that in the the tags. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I didn't change it from when I was going to do Resident Evil. Oopsie daisy. Oop. Do, 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 do. All I could do is get out. I can't like turn it off or anything, can I? Lights are out. Mmm, cola. <laughs> I love me some carrot cola. Bell I can ring. Hello. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Oh, neato. Refreshing soda, bubbles drink can, the carrot drink. Or oh, do you love me some orange drink? Chocolate, chocolate candies, grapefruit drink, chocolate, cola bottle. Got a whole bunch of options. I do you love me some orange? Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Consume. Rogue Shry, thank you for the for the lurk. Hope you having a good one. Assuming we don't have like a 
Like, I don't seem to have, like, a HUD I can't see. Like, you know, is there a limit on how much you can eat or drink? So there doesn't seem to be anyone here. What if... Oh, were they winning? Can't tell. I've, I've, I've never been good at that game. I'm not even sure if I remember the rules. here. Like I may have missed something. I'm pretty sure the light was on. Then walking back. all off so like I know you can go and uh, you can fill up a like a can or something but I don't think we have one unless there was one in like the boot or something I had to and then usually with these kinds of games there's like I feel like with these ones we'd be getting like a hint like the text down the bottom or well like these games there's usually like they'll give you sort of like a hint like sort of coax you in a certain direction with lighting and stuff but I'm not really picking up any hints there so I feel like they wanted you to get out of the car go there and be a bit spooked Oh, there's, oh, the lights are off and there's no one there. Oh. And then you come back to the car and there'll be, there'll be someone waiting or something. I think, I guess. Or was I supposed to drive the car back? But I thought it ran out. Oh. Do you want me to... Go back for fuel? Like, can I turn the car around? No? Alright, now I'm feeling a little silly. Driving a night is really therapeutic for me. Yeah? Like, I, I don't think I can even turn the car around. Like, can I... Do I reverse back? Surely not. Surely not. I seem to be going... I feel like I'm going faster back, like reversing. I 
it felt like I couldn't turn it around. Oh. Wasn't too far of a walk, so it shouldn't be too long, and we should be passing that truck. It's back on. Beep, beep. All right. Uh, what side? What side is the fuel cap on? It's yeah, it's not letting me turn much. I assume I bring the car just to one of these. gonna crash into it am I um is that I don't know where the fuel cap is Don't know where it is at all. Okay. Like I can just get in and out. There's, I don't think there's anything else I can interact with here. This way. Okay, so now, now there's people here. Right. How's your night going? I didn't mean to pick that up. I, I guess we're committing to the sweet cookies now. Uh, bit of like from there. Terribly sorry about this. Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump two? Is this one where they'll do it for you? You're heading to the bridge by yourself? Yes, why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. You got it. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Well, thanks for gas. <laughs> Yo, frog! Hopefully it gets us across this bridge. <laughs> How you going, mate? And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. 
Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't... What? What? Oh, they just ain't. Okay. Alright. All right. Yo, Slabby. Ten bucks on Pump 2. Of course, why are you get me on the bicycle type Pump Championships? I'm just, just doing what the game tells me. I've already... I already think I've made mistakes. I drove past the gas station, even though it didn't tell me to pull in there. I don't know if you'll find any shops this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Do they want me to quickly... I can maybe quickly grab some here? But maybe this is, this is set in America, right? We gotta think of the... What's the conversion? Will this do for dog food? Vegan milk? But Milo's such a cute name for a pet. So that's drinks. Well, that's that's milk. Is this dog? Is that no? That looks like that looks like some kind of. I don't mean to be grabbing all this stuff. There's no crouch. Oh no, there is. It's C. That looks like some kind of cereal. Like is that like Fruit Loops? I don't think there's dog food here. Here we just got cereals, we got cookies, we got chocolate, we got toilet paper. Oh, here we go. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. We're doing our part for Milo. For good boys and girls. Pat pat. It's new. We're gonna put that right in the car where it's gonna be safe. We will get this dog food back home to Milo. Oh! No. Put it back. Why am I grabbing this stuff? I can't even... fine. I couldn't drive, leave my stuff behind. I tried to put it back. Oh, why did I grab it? That's fine. Come on. That's good enough. <laughs> Alright, we got enough fuel now? No! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Why is the... Did I... Did I break the car? Why is it... Why is it so painful to drive now? No, I, I keep... Why do I keep clicking the space bar? It's like, I know it's space to get out. I... Have I broken the car? Do I need to change gears or something? Or do I... Do I... Did he not... Like, how does... How does fuel work in America? Do you, you go and you're like, I'll get this much. And they're like, cool, that'll be $10 worth. And then you go fill it? Is that how it works? Because in Australia, we go, we go and fill it. And then we go and pay. We pay for the amount we put in. But is it here you gotta pay for the amount in advance? Like is it, I'm guessing, cause the light, look the light. Oh my God, I'm learning a lot. S skill issue. I, and again, I don't know, I'm assuming I'm assuming the, the fuel cap is on that side. Is this pump two? That's four? They said pump two. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh, 
the pain! Oh, the pain! It won't even turn! I can't even... Oh, I'm gonna have to reverse. I'm gonna have to reverse to it. This is what I think of your gas station. Like, I don't recall, like, when the gas station was coming up, I don't recall any text coming up being like, Yeah, I should probably stop for gas, hey. Or I probably should have noticed the red light. I can't even look in the rear vision mirror! We're just gonna have to- No, I've hit something. Can I, like, restart? <laughs> Is that a thing? I, I feel like I've... I feel like I've busted it. Oh, we made it. Alright. My god. My god, this is... I'm pretty sure we paid $10 on pump 2, right? Okay. Please tell me I activated the pump. Oh! That took... My god, that took much longer than it needed to. Alright, can, can we can we leave this damn gas station now? The car is actually gonna Look, I I would I would love to check to see if there's more traffic coming a bit better than that, but I I can't look further than that. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh, mother! It's not expired or anything, right? It's on the shelf! It was on the shelf! Oh. Oh, the lights. Oh, yep. Alright, lights are back. We drive on the right here, yeah? a car ahead, I think. That ain't good. Oh. oh I better leave a space in between us. I'm trying to practice real life road rules. Oh, now we can't see the road. Oh. oh no. I'm winging it. I think I see the edge of the road. The light went off on its own, so it's not, I don't think I can... What was that? Oh, alright, we're back. I can't even read that, because the light's reflecting off it. Yeah. Do, 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 Oh, here's that bridge. Haven't seen any hitchhikers, which is nice. Yeah, this is fine. This is a normal bridge. Nothing to it. Oh. Yeah, look, we're fine. Cross the bridge and we're and we're good. All right, uh, the road's not as good as on this side. Guess we're out in the country now. Oh, and there goes the light again. Right, not a problem. A lot of people, anyone walking along the road will hear us coming, right, and they'll step out of the way. It's gonna be fine. Nothing to it. Oh, car over there. 
Sure, they're fine. They've just stopped for a picnic. Oh, rabbit, look out! I hate the way animals go out in front of cars. It's like they wait without opportunity. So can you not? There's no left turn ahead, right? Okay. There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh no. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. So, do we move my hand? It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. But I didn't, I didn't think much of it at the time. Those were heavy. Oh, I can move it? Alright. Oh. Come on, you son of a bitch. Which way am I moving you? Yeah, get out of the way. Oh, is that good enough? Come on. Can I push it? No. Pulling it, alright. Easy does it. As far as it needs to go? I feel like that's pretty, it's pretty shoddy. But that's all the game will allow me to do. This was my car yesterday. The car wouldn't start back up. This, this is what happened to my car yesterday. Well, not just the not starting part. I did, someone had to come and replace my battery. But I was not in an area like this, thank God. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Oh, yuck. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap the gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel slightest of unease. I don't I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Ten twenty three PM. Yo, uh, okay, you can just go through the log. Good for you, Jackass. Can't even honk the horn in case someone's nearby. Come on! Oh. Howdy, partner. Oh, oh, that's right. It's not an Australian car, they're on this side. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? 
Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in! Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Could you could you could you reverse up to save me a trip? Please? Oh, I can only carry two things at once. That's fair. It's neat that they've thought of that. Oh. Uh-huh. Don't you go anywhere. I'll be right back. Can't leave without the cap. Or the dog food. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the magical floating dog food. Nearly done, I think. Just gotta get the dog food and something else, mate. No! Let me take the dog food! I guess it's not essential. That's really sad. We, we paid for that. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. Finally. Now hop in, be quick. Sorry, mate. Alright, let's go. Can I DJ? So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? Uh, I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it... I think it was battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. I don't know. Alright, mate. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he's funny! Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person travelling down here. So, is it true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. All good, mate. Water under the bridge. Oh, past midnight. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a hotel. A motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. 
Bye. Oh yeah. Oh, we, okay. We did. We did bring, end up bringing the dog food. Excellent. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. Uh. Uh. Yes. I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Right, let's pay that as well. Gee, we're just paying for everything. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Alright. Hi Ariels, how you going? We just we just checked into a motel. We got key room room number nine key. Let's let's have a hey we're just splurging our money on here. Let's have a cola real quick. Like, is there a limit to how much I can have? Like, consume. Like, can I just pump up the... The sprint speed? Like, let's have some chocolate as well. Let's just chow down. This is dinner. <laughs> We're not sleeping! Consume. I'm pretty good. I was planning on streaming Resident Evil 2 tonight. But, um, I just figured I might wait till next week to start it. Just because, yeah, I got tonight. Uh, tomorrow night I got the panel party with the PAX panel people. And then the weekend I'm going to be busy with stuff. Including the, uh, you know, like, more Red Dead. So if you get tonight, let's knock over some indie horror games. So we are currently in the middle of Fears to Fathom Episode 2, or the Norwood Hitchhike. Oh, those those didn't end up going to dad. Oh, doesn't want us to reply to mom. What about Aiden Williams? Where you at? Your dad's calling. Well, I'm, I can't. I don't think I can. Uh, oh, there's no service. There's no service, mate. Yeah, hammer, hammer before was like what? What's that sound? <laughs> Server reset time. Server resetting in ten minutes. Here we go, number nine. It was nice and warm inside. Why isn't there a mattress? Is that uh, Rugen or Rugen? Thank you for the follow. Superman. <laughs> what are you doing here? I should be asking you. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. <laughs> hey, Panda. Yeah, little Totodile. Love to see it. Love to see it. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Like, of all the things he gets scared by. It's just a guy standing there and it's like, ah! Ah! Can I use these to get the bags all in one go? Is that those is that one of those things? Oh, I'm glad to hear it, Panda. I'm very glad to hear it. I was very glad to see that it would be a Totodile stick. Because you know, like I said, Totodile is arguably my favorite Pokemon starter. Um, and I'll prove it. I'll even prove it. Uh, where is it? Oh, do I, do I not have it active? Hold on. Where is it? There you go. See? There he is. <laughs> Pokemon Silver for life. Like, I love Charmander, but Totodile, he's a, he's a happy little crocodile. I think that's great. Really needed me some energy soda. All right. I'm gonna, we're gonna, more soda it is. Umbreon is my favorite evolution. Love it. But yeah, it's, uh, Silver was my first... Pokemon game. It was my first one, and then I never really had the time or the drive to to play any others apart from go back and play like red and yellow and and that. I don't think I really played any others. I still haven't finished Pokemon Shield on my um on my Switch. You gonna come help? Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have but you have a good night thank you mate please come back with my car I wasn't I haven't finished grabbing my stuff Tommy looking for <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know if I trust this guy do not know if I trust this guy Look at that walk. What a dick. <laughs> I'm real like I'm sorry I left your door open. I'm sorry. He'll be he'll be right back with the car. It's gonna be fine. No what could go wrong? I'm definitely not gonna get scared again. Definitely not. Definitely not. But up but up. Got the dog food. You know, it'd be, it'd be nice if literally anyone offered Elvis with the bags. But it's fun. Gives me something to do. Ah, I do like Alolan Marowak. I, uh, I got, I, I have an Alolan Marowak on, um, Pokemon Shield, from memory. Very cool. Oh, I think I've got everything. Oh. Why do we want to crouch? Do I, do I, do I just go to bed? Oh, yep. Yeah. Call it a foresight, but there's something very off about that place. Now, if I remember correctly, 
There's no menu for this, is there? No. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. That's very creepy. But if I remember reading correctly, in the episode one, you could actually have it set up where the game would recognize your microphone. And if you yelled into it, you could actually scare off the guy uh, at, the win at the door in the episode one. Uh, but I don't think there's a way... I'm not seeing like any settings. So I don't I don't know if that's a thing in episode two. So that was a bit of a bit of fear and also a bit of uh quickly remembering that um if I yell they may go away. <laughs> <laughs> You never call one, Panda. The design's great. Like, I thought I, I liked Cubone and Marowak to begin with. But then the idea of, like, the way you got the Alolan variants, having the yeah, Marowak's bone have the flames is really great. And then he becomes, like, a fire, a fire and dark type or something, right? Like, it's, it's great. That well, was cool. Uh, do I get the coffee from here? Or from the guy? Where do I get the coffee? Eat meat snack? Surely not here. Oi, where's the coffee at? You have a great night's sleep. That... Or do I make one in the room? I'm not really a coffee guy. You've only played the first one? What did you did you know that was a thing? In the first one? I didn't I didn't even know to begin with. It wasn't until I went back and read up on the game that someone mentioned that that's a thing. Like, I'm not, there's no, I don't think there's anything I can really do to make my own copy here, so I gotta get it from somewhere. If not from that guy, then where? Still no service. Thank you, Panda. Let me take a gander. Oh, cute. Oh, you got for alligator there. Oh, it's lovely. It's framed and everything. Oh, it's lovely. I used to draw lots of Pokemon and Digimon back in the day. Is there like a... Is there like a shared... Like a common area where we can make a coffee? Is this... Oh, this looks like one of those coffee... Oh, here we go. Um... I usually just get... I'm not really a coffee guy, but if I get anything, I usually just get a mocha. Well, espressos are very popular at the moment. Limvalin. I don't think I've... seen them in any chats. something in the coffee and the controls are back to front oh text messages are coming through oh I can't even read it no the coffee gotta get back to the room 
son of a... Eight. Oh, nine. Let's lie down. Amongst all our stuff. Right. I was sedated. Sleep it off, mate. <laughs> oh. Ahoy, hoy. Like a door in the, the cupboard. <laughs> hey, Jake. Uh, what is that game over? Do I have to start again? Like from the start? Do I have to start all the way back? There's not like a check. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so dumb. It's just some guy in the. You're like, oh, it's like, it still gets me, man. It gets me. All right, Jake. There will be more. There will be more, Jake. All right. So there's a guy. When we wake up in the middle of the night, there's a guy in the cupboard. All right. We got to do this stuff again. How much is it for a room? $40. Yeah, good. Take the money. Go to hell. Good. Fix my car. <laughs> We've already done this, so I'm just getting us back to where we were. Yeah, good. Fuck you. You better not be the one in my cupboard. <laughs> Oh, my heart. <laughs> yeah, I can't. So let's neaten up these. Yeah, it's nice and neat. There we go. Yeah, I got no, I got no service. <laughs> it was nice and warm side, but wait for it. Yeah, I know you're here. Fuck you, Tommy. Go fix- go get my car. Go get my car, you jerk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go get my stuff. Yeah. Jackass. Remember the, the first game, the first episode was really creepy because you're like, you're home alone and like, you could see there's like someone like out on the street and they were like, like looking through the window and knocking at the door and like, and then eventually they, they get in the house and oh, it, oh, 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 
Oh, it was, oh, it was creepy because, yeah, no, I remember the odd time being home alone and you just, your mind wanders and you're like, what if there's someone, what if there's someone there? Even, even in recent years, sometimes, like, I'll wake up at, like, 3 a.m. or whatever and it's like, I'll, I'll think I see something or I think I hear something, um... Or, like, I'll be coming out of having a nightmare or a dream or something. So, like, I'll... My subconscious self believes that there's someone in the house. Um, there was one time recently... Because, like, I... Not that I... I haven't played my bass guitar properly in years. But usually I keep it on a stand in my bedroom. But I came out one morning... And it was leaning up against one of my... Like, my other chair... Like out here in the lounge room, and I think I remember like, like sleepwalking, like carrying it out, like because I thought someone might have been trying to break in or something. So I think, like half awake myself, was like, "Well, grab the bass guitar. If someone's in the house, I'll just bad luck for them. They get to get walloped by a bass guitar." I think that's what my where my mind went to. Go get my car, Tommy. Yeah, I was like, why is my bass guitar out here? It was very odd. What if there's someone there? Cool, they can pay a share of the damn bills. You want to leave here and make my life harder? You can pay rent and utilities, bitch. <laughs> In this economy, yeah, I, I, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> It's like, what am I gonna do? Like, I'm like half awake, like in just like my underwear, like half awake holding a bass guitar. Like, oh, I'm gonna fight off a home invader. Yeah, like, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. like, yeah. Good luck. I'll probably, probably hurt myself. All right. Sleep time. Can't even turn the lights off. Fuck off! Get out of here! Mind your own business. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, A plus effort. That's right, might, yeah, if there's someone there, might scare him. Hey, stop fucking with the lights. Do you know how expensive electricity is? Either pay a share of the bill or stop messing with the lights. Go to bed! It's 1 a.m. I'm trying to sleep. Enter like dad mode. Can I like shut these? That would be preferable. Like staying in a hotel like this. Like. Like shut the blinds, man. You're just asking for trouble. Jeez! Alright, so we get the coffee. And then, and then... We have a bad time. We get back to the room, and we go back to sleep. And then we do not check the cupboard. There is a guy in the cupboard. What I say to the ghost in the house? Piss off, ghost! <laughs> this is what happened to, uh, what's her name? Sabrina Carpenter. To get the inspiration for the, her espresso song. She stayed at a motel had espresso at like 3 a.m. and then this happened and she's like I'm gonna write a song sleep it off Let's go to bed and we do not check cupboard because you can hear the door you can hear it I heard it
and you can see it a little bit. Nah, not getting out of bed. Nah, I know you're in there. Not getting out of bed. I'm gonna stay right here. You can stay in there all night. don't like it who sleeps with the lights on who sleeps with the, the bedside lights on like oh, fuck I know you're in there you can you can pass out and hit your head on the wall for all I care mate what if, what if I what if I throw the pet food at him Didn't feel safe going out. He's in the cabin! It's not safe to be here! It's the man in the cupboard! Come cool, man, I gave you the dog food. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Can't even. I, oh. What do you want me to do? I can't go outside. I can't turn the light on. I gave you the dog food. Can't. There. Oh. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I fucking did nothing. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? There's some guy in the cupboard! Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. It's fucking... Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Your coffee's fucked. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there! Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. <laughs> I hate my job. Lead Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on. Come on, look at the coffee machine. You coming? I'm going to take you to the coffee machine. And you'll see I'm not crazy. Could you keep up?
Oh my god. The coffee machine. It's gone! Go back to the room. I swear to god, it was right here. I said, go back. Now. Jeez, alright. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. I'm not taking medicine from some motel guy. Check the table by the TV. He, what? Are you mad? Are you insane? You brought my car back yet? Oh, buy the TV. Mate, there's nothing here. You're a liar! I don't, I don't I don't think I can sleep. I don't think I can sleep. There's no medicine there. There's no medicine, you lying prick. Oh, oh, it's in. I thought he said it was on. Requires water. Don't you? Oh, the sink's here. Thank you for the motel medicine. That's not concerning at all. That's completely normal. Can I sleep now? Is that cool? Is that cool? Can I have, get some 40 winks, please? Oh, we still don't want to go to sleep? What do you want from me? Oh, we get... Fuck you whispering about. Oh, what do you want? Hello. What? Hello. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. Nah. You get stuffed. Not open the door. I know you're in there. Yeah, obviously. No. Piss off. Yeah. Nah. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm, or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady.
No! Well, it wasn't that, that bit wasn't that scary because it kind of broke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me I gotta do the whole, whole. <laughs> I gotta do this whole thing again. Well, this whole bit, oh my God. Bruh. See ya. Oh my god. Oh, just give me all the drinks so that I can just sprint fast. Good. We've had cola. Soda coming up. Good. And and a refreshing soda. Why not? Let's let's have let's have a nice even three. How sick are you getting, Ariel's? Meow. <laughs> Like, how sick? <laughs> I'd get straight on the, um... Straight on the medicine and make sure you're getting some good sleeps. That's right, you've got... you got the long weekend, yeah? And it's a week away. You can, you can knock that over, you'll be right. You'll be right. You'll be okay. Sleep, barely know it. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, I can't believe it. Packs next week. Oh my god! Unreal. Fuck you. Go get my car. I am going. I will. I I fly to Melbourne on Thursday next week. I have to get two flights. Cause I live out in the bush. I'm out in the out. I'm out amongst it. Uh, so yeah, Thursday next week I get two flights, uh, and then uh, it's Thursday, then the Thursday night I go. I'm gonna go find dinner across the. Cause I'm staying at a hotel right next to the venue. I'm right out. I'm out. I'm out in like I am out in the sticks. I ain't even joking. I've been living out here while. I, work in radio for about uh it'll be three years in march since i since i got here um uh but yeah i will be at pax uh all day on the friday and all day on the saturday uh but then sunday morning i have to fly back to sydney because then i have to be ready to work at south by southwest sydney monday to friday so but i will be there friday and saturday um i'll be helping out of the wombat theater when i can um, and then I'm helping co-host a panel on the Saturday night with Shell Bunny and a bunch of other people. So I'll be around. Definitely say hi. Um, cause you know what I look like, but I can't say hi to people that I don't know what they look like. So if I don't know what you look, look like, you got to say hi to me. <laughs> I'll snooze the ad break. Hello, Mrs. Phenom. 
it's it's so exciting even though we aren't going we'll be watching as much stuff online can't wait to see all the excitement so many good panels to check out even online it's exciting But on the Thursday night, I'll probably be at uh, Fortress by some point. And then on the Friday night, uh, I've bought a ticket to go to a uh, private ev event for a bit. Uh, and then after that, we'll probably go to Fortress or something again. Uh, and then Saturday, um, I will be... Yeah, I've got... The panel I'm on is from 6 until 7. And then after that is the Lyricals performing live. And then after that will be Sea Shanty. So I'll be at uh, the Wombat Theatre just about all the saturday night so barbosa welcome on in raiders we'll have you scrubbing the poop deck and hoisting and hoisting the sails or something lickety split my name is bub my name is barbosa online i'm a streamer here in jolly old england um i am the greatest uh, trivia host in the Northern Hemisphere, <laughs> and I'm also a I'm also an actor and a bloody good one if I say so myself. <laughs> Cut to it, justice. <laughs> <laughs> Must raid and run for food and work. Hope's true as well. No worries, mate. Hopefully, we'll finish this soon. Thank you for the raid, dude. Um, <laughs> thanks, Bo's. I hope you're well, bro. I couldn't resist. Brass tempos, you've had a glow up. I'm sorry, Jumble. I had to do it. But as soon as, as like, whenever I see a raid from Bosa, um, I totally see, I, I immediately see Bosa's raid stuff, you know, where it's him, like, doing the, these running. It's got the parts of the Caribbean music. I can't, it's ingrained in my f mind, man. That's right. Now we, whenever we have someone raid over here on the channel, we play, we play the best game on Twitch. <laughs> We're gonna play what's in the box. What is in the box? I said, what is in the box? It's, it's a Nintendo Switch. And it's nothing. <laughs> it's teeth. <laughs> What is in the box? What's in the box? It's a gun. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's Bosa at the window. But hello, hello everyone from Bosa's channel. Hope you're well. Hope Bosa is well. Hope you're well. Um, we are trying to finish Beers to Fathom episode two. Norwood? Norwood Hitchhike? Um, people keep... People keep... Um... They won't let us sleep. I gave Bosa a list of spooky games for the season, and this was one of them. Well, he should definitely try episode one. See if he enjoys it. Uh, I did that last year or the year before. Um... What if we have a different drink? Uh, and yeah, this is episode two, and um, we're just, we're trying to, we keep, we're kind of trapped in this one bit, I'm trying to get past it. I'm already scared. You should be scared. If you're having a, if you're coming to get a coffee from a vending machine at three in the morning at a motel, you should be scared. Hey, Mr. Phenom. Drugs. And back in the bed. Um, that was... 
That was the Sabrina Carpenter special. <laughs> That's me, Espresso. That fucking song, I can't escape it. It's like, get out of my head! Get out! Stop! I don't even like Espresso! Now this bit, when Bosa plays it, don't make sure he goes to the cupboard. I'm not gonna go to the cupboard. Like you, so what I do, how I survive, I leave us, I leave, uh, I leave some food for the cupboard man. But if you go check it and you go straight up the cupboard, um, it's a fun time. So make sure Barbosa goes up to the cupboard when he does it. Look, look, oh, she, yeah, she's all right, Ariel's, but it's just it's an earworm. Leave a little food in the cupboard for the cupboard man. Leave a little food. The cupboard man, so that he does not starve and make a little skeleton in the little cupboard. We don't want that. I don't think I'm getting the reference, Drake. <laughs> I don't know what you're referencing. You should consider. You should considering leaving a little dirt under your pillow for the, for the dirt man. I. What are you? Re why are you referencing? I thought you were just making something up. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Hey, going, Joe. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you? What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that, is that why your eyes are all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. Okay, okay. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. <laughs> Come on, Joe. I don't like your ho I don't like your motel, Joe. Your motel is not good, and I, I I I don't I don't hesitate to say that your hotel is a joke. I think you're a bad motel man. Where is it now? I said, go back now. Did you not hear me? I said, go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. All right. You suck, Joe. You're a bad man. You're not, you know, you're, not, you're, not, you're bad at your job. That doesn't sound like what he looks like. He sounds like. He was American before. But then I changed it. I love... Drugs in the drawer. Drugs in the drawer require water. Don't forget to shut the cupboard before you go to bed. So that the cupboard man don't eat your head. Or something. Mmm. Motel medicine. Don't mind if I do. So, so last time we died. There was a guy getting through the door. So do we reckon we hide? I reckon we hide in the bathroom this time. So when he's 
bashing down the door. We um we jump in the we jump in the bathroom. We shut the door. I think. Marcel, Marcel the mime. What's that from again? He looked like he could be Albert. <laughs> I say. I think we wait for a bit, and then a creepy guy comes to the door. If I remember correctly. This has just become crappy hotel simulator. Did he just take a photo? Who is it? Please open the- Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. I know you're in there. Please leave! I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lovely. tried that we haven't just tried letting him in maybe if we open the door early he doesn't get so pissed off he kicks down your door and goes ah! and gives you the last hug you'll ever get the horror is that you have to do it all again right you gotta go in you gotta come in and talk to the guy and you gotta move your bags and you gotta go get the coffee and you gotta do the... yeah yeah don't die obviously i'm trying I'm fucking trying. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a little bit kind of like Wolf Creek, but Wolf Creek, uh, oh God, I remember watching it and being like, I don't like this. Um, yeah, what happens is they're out in the bush and they're backpackers and they meet him and then they camp with him, but then I think he drugs their drinks and then they, they wake up. And then he he traps him at, at his farm. It's really... I remember being... I was so scared when I watched Wolf Creek. This was like years and years and years ago. Oh. oh yeah. That... Oh. <laughs> Didn't... Oh, it scared the shit out of me. Scared the dickens out of me. Yeah, you do... You do not want to watch Wolf Creek. And then, especially if you know you're going to go driving outside of a city in the Australian Outback, you do not want to go watch a Wolf Creek. John Jarrett is very good in it. He's very good at playing a scary guy in it. But goddamn. 
But just, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's really scared me when I watched it. Oh, because it's too real. Then you'd be like, I'm never driving in the bush again. Dad is telling you to the server's resetting. It keeps throwing everyone off, Jake. Everyone's like, thinks it's going to be 10 minutes to server reset. It's crazy. Oh. I can imagine him doing that. I was very lucky. Um, I met him uh, one of the years I was... Um, helping with AV at Supernova. Uh, and he, go, he goes to like all the Supernovas. So he was there uh, and the, I was at the theater, uh, the stage where we were gonna premiere the first couple of episodes of one of his new TV shows on stand. This is years ago. So he rock, he was there with like a couple of staff people from Stan and that. Um, and I remember standing there just like, you know, thinking ahead, you know, what do we need to do? And then I hear like a voice behind me. And it's like, a, oh, do you reckon someone could uh, go let them know to do an announcement over the speakers to tell, let everyone know that this is happening soon? And I turn around and John Jarrett's right there. And he's just, he was so polite and so nice. And I was like, a split second, I was like, it's the Wolf Creek guy. But then the other half of me was like, gotta be professional. And I was like, sure thing, John. We'll organize that right now. But I was like, ah, it's John Jarrett. So I was very lucky that he didn't do anything scary to me. But he's a funny fella. And I can imagine him doing that in the theater. And I really feel for those people aerials. That would suck. That would really suck. That'd be so funny as well. That that you that you'd never forget that. But when he's not trolling people. He is a very, he's a very polite night man from my experience. My, my very brief experience with him. He's a, he's a, he's a top bloke. That's right, he's a, he's a top Aussie bloke, mate. But he's very good at playing that character. He's very good at playing that character. But I've been very fortunate with some of the side work I do where I've met a couple of celebrities and like some of them some of them got that vibe where you know they're just they're, they're chill cool people but then some give off that vibe where you're like yeah they're probably a bit you know but um piss off John um, but he was one of the good ones from my experience so very thankful for that let's go get it Fuck you, number four. <laughs> Alright, so this time we open the door. To the... Hello? Person. And then if that doesn't work... Then I think I need... If there's someone in chat that knows what to do... I'm gonna need help then. Or I'm gonna have to Google it. I don't know, Jake. It's... It's... It's not on it. It's not right, is it? Number four. Person in four. It's not fair. It's a joke. Number four sucks. Oh. Just leave the door open. Like, come on. Come on. Like, this has been fun, but I would like to wrap it up. 
because then if I can fit in doing episode 3 tonight as well, that would be good. Cupboard man! I know you're in there! And look, this has worked? This has worked the last few times, so I'm just gonna keep... I'm just gonna keep doing what works. The whole, like, just throwing the bag of food at, at the cupboard seems like it's it's not as if it, um, it's not as if it doesn't work. Oh, <gasps> let's check. That's actually a really good idea, Jake. That's actually a really good idea. Oh, let's check that. If you can, you don't have the option yet. Auto save sucks. Can I? Oh, I can't take anything with me now. <laughs> Server restarting in ten minutes. Yeah, I'm not even scared of you anymore, mate. I'm wondering as well, is it is it worth drinking like three sodas to get that faster sprint? Or is it like the amount of time it takes buying them and consuming them that ends up being the same amount of time anyway? Hey, how you going? Go get my car, please. Because I leave the door open, isn't it? Look, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm in a rush. Clearly you're not in a rush, though. I'm sick of doing this same bit over and over. Why can't there be more auto saves? Yeet! Alright, bedtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 get on with it.
Fuck you, number four. Fuck you, buddy. You're a knobhead. Consume. Yeah, a little bit of a hint how to progress. This bit would be really nice, Mr. Phenom. Because I've done it too many times now. To be real with you. This is when I'm doing this spooky ass hotel. I'm blocking the door and putting a big sheet over the window and stepping, sleeping on top of the blanket. <laughs> oh! Thought so. Okay. Gotcha. So opening the door early is not... It's not going to do the thing. I want to be sedated. Twenty, twenty, twenty-four hours to go. <laughs> I want to finish this game. <laughs> Hey Wagner! Hey gone, dude. Hope you've been well. It's very suitable because I am I am Barbosa Online. I am the greatest trivia host and or actor in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's very appropriate you're using my emote on my channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Bosa, who made those emotes? Um, I willed them into existence. I just thought really hard one day and... Really, Wagner? Alien Isolation on Xbox did this. If you had Connect plugged in, you made too much noise IRL, the alien would find you. That's great. Oi! Is that why they're like, hey, why are you making all these goofy noises? Because the other game's picking up yelling and screaming into your microphone. Like, Oi, streamer boy! Shut up! No one cares that you got a follow or a sub. I'm making noise. Come tell me off for being noisy. Come on. I'm waiting. Was that a rapid? rat a tat tat upon my chamber door. Oi! 
Hello? Hello? I'm waiting. Hello? To some visitor and nothing more. <laughs> la 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 la. I love telephone. La 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 la. What am I doing wrong? Is it because I didn't you watch? Because I didn't throw. I didn't throw the dog food at the um at the um at the cupboard. Who is it? Joe from Run Desk. Hello, Joe. You gotta sing this song. La 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 la. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh, ho 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 ho. this way. We'll show you the safe way into Mordor. Smeagol show you the well. Yes. <laughs> I said Seagull. Stop that now. I can't wait to finish this game. Live now and never come back. Yeah, mate, I'm going to take my drugs. I love drugs. I love drugs at the motel at three in the morning. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Well, that's the why. That's what I'm worried about, Rusian. Is that it's like gotta hide in the cupboard later. But then what if they're still they're still in there? As far as we know. Like what the fuck? What are you referencing, Jake? I don't understand. What do you want from me? I've had me drugs. I've had me water. Hello? Fuck you! Thanks for the luck, Dill. Thanks, mate. Who is it? Please, please, I open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Do nothing. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady.
To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. There were some good spooks in there. Some scary moments, so. Oh. <laughs> 